Hey guys, Corsair here. So today in this video I'm going to show you how to do a few stuff if, uh, in OMSI and um, it's going to be a comprehensive beginner guide to those who are new to OMSI so and uh, I'm going to be showing you how to navigate through the game itself and then how to navigate in the bus and uh, how to do the procedures in order to get you running uh, and um, go onto the road, pick up passengers and take them from a point to another so let's get into it so basically when you open up OMSI uh, you will be redirected to this screen and this screen is just um, a view from the top and you're not even in the bus so you have to actually choose a bus and then you can do the other stuff so how you do it is you press alt on your keyboard and this menu will pop up for you so basically each of these buttons do something so I'm just gonna be going uh, just gonna go through them quickly that's the resume button okay that's change the map that's the save button that's choosing the new bus that's changing the bus so when you are in the bus and you want to change it you press that button and it will change it you can change and choose another bus and uh, yeah and uh, I, at the moment these are not functional so when we on the game I'll show you what these gonna what these are doing so don't worry about that for now <coughs> excuse me and that's the uh, report button so when you have a crush when you have a crush on uh, with, a, with another car or something uh, you press that button so the police come into that scene and um, clear your name and uh, this is your personal file detail and uh, this is not working at the moment but that's where you choose the route and stuff and uh, that doesn't do anything for now so we're just going to leave that and that's the actual um, the actual let's say like a navigation thing which shows all the bus stops all of the uh, like t tells you where to go which um, road to take for example if you are on this road and it tells you go left right or go straight so it's a very useful uh, tool and that's actually and this one is for um, changing the time so if you want to change the time uh, you can skip it you can bring it bring bring the time backward I believe so I'm not I haven't tried that before so I'm not really sure about that but yeah you can change the time from here so for example you choose a route and the route will ask you to stay for around maybe 20 minutes and that twenty you have to actually wait for 20 minutes real 20 minutes not real in-game 20 minutes so uh, that's what you have to do um, so that's that and this one is for changing the weather so if you want to change the weather to uh, let's say sunny foggy or this kind of um, you know snowy or anything you choose you choose it click on it and press ok it will change the weather for you um, so yeah, let's just demonstrate it for you you see um, just that, that simple back to that snowy kind of looks cool but we're just gonna go back to the default so um, and these buttons are if you have a steering wheel you have to activate it so even if you configure it you still need to activate it from this menu so make sure that when you play with the steering wheel you activate it first and if you don't have a steering wheel but you want to control the mouse yeah, the, the steering with the mouse you can activate the mouse from here and you have if you have a track IR which is a um, head tracking uh, system uh, let's say hardware which head tracks you so you can use it for the, the view you can actually activate it from here and um, this is the option button where you can change all of the different options for the game so it's very uh, straightforward general graphics uh, graphics advanced and anything else you want to change so you, you change it from here and um, that's the exit button so if you, that's German I believe yeah it's yes and no so we're not going to be closing it uh, so we can just go back to the game and uh, yeah so that's the menu so um, we are going to choose a new bus now so we go back to the menu which is alt on your keyboard you press the fourth button which is add new bus you press that and now another um, yeah so this will show up so I'm not going to be choosing this one because that's for um, 
because not everyone have that add-on so I just want to be I've put everything on default so everyone is on the same page Yep, that's um, just gonna choose SD two hundred and two D ninety two, and then we press OK. So that's the bus, uh, the full bus that is in OMSI. So make sure, and there are three different um, positions for the vehicle to be placed in. But I'm ch I choose this one because this is actual. This is the um, I don't know how to say that thing. It's I believe it's German, so you choose that one. Uh, but it's this station, so you press OK, and uh, the bus is there now. So that's the bus, and um, now we have the bus, but we don't know what to do with it. So basically, we need to do some stuff in order to get you running. So what you do here is you press F1 on your keyboard. Or you can actually, if you have a steering wheel, you can configure the, the the buttons to whatever key you assign to it. So, but if you are using a keyboard and mouse, you just press F1. It takes you to the first version view, uh, first person view, and you can change the things from here. Very straightforward. And uh, if we middle click on the mouse, move around, uh, you can see that we can look around. Very simple. And if we press spacebar, it resets the view. Something very easy. Okay, so for now, uh, that's all you need to know. <laughs> so now we have to turn on, um, you know, turn on the bus. Let's say you press. Um, if you just middle mouse click, and um, if if you um, hover through this area, you click on it. The, the steering will, will disappear so you can have a better uh, view onto the dashboard and if we uh, actually if we right click and bring the, the mouse backward it will zoom in forward zoom out so simple as that the middle click so I'm just gonna go through these quickly uh, these are the lights these are the um, air conditioning thing uh, for example, if you want to turn on the air conditioning in the cabin, uh, in the cabin where you are, uh, or the passenger in the in the in the passenger in the doors, and um, so yeah, and that's the speed of the fan. So you, if you want to make it very fast, you just take it forward, make it slower, bring it downward. Uh, very simple. This is the, um, the gear, reserve, neutral, drive. This is station brake. So whenever you are at a bus stop or something, you have to press that. And these two will open the doors, which are these doors. And uh, make sure you also press that. Okay. And when, you've, when you're done, press that. Double tap on these. And uh, I mean, uh, yeah. So make just press them to once, once and um, release the um, station brake. And then you're good to go. So, now if we want to turn on the bus, uh, we have to. I used my steering wheel, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, if you press. Yeah, if you click on it and um, bring the mouse down, downwards, uh, the thing will go into its place. And then you press this button, it will turn on the bus. So now the bus is running. The bus is uh, on. I mean, <laughs> so um, that's that, and that's uh, for turning the bus uh, off. So you, if you want to switch off the, the engine, just press that. Hold it for like two seconds, and the bus will. You see, we're gonna turn it on again, and uh, yeah, that's that. And oh, sorry, I forgot something very important. That's the um, parking brake. So, if you take it there, it's uh, you've released the uh, parking brake. Bring it down downwards. It's um, set. So yeah, we're gonna reset the V, and um, we're gonna talk about these now. So this is the air conditioning thing again. So if you wanna, that's for heat and that's for 
air conditioning. You know what I do always is I put them in the middle because that's the best. That's what I do. Uh, it works the best for me. And just leave that there. And uh, yeah, that's it. So this is for the tickets. Um, so when you want to sell tickets, it goes here. That's where you give changes. And this is for setting up the uh, routes and lanes and this kind of stuff. So uh, if you press F3 again, you see on the screen and here there's nothing. Why? Because we haven't set anything. But we will be going back, uh, we will go through that as well. So now what we want to do, yeah, we're just going to zoom on it quickly. And we press Alt again. So we, now we choose a route. We're going to go from a destination to another. And uh, so but we're going to go there. And remember when I told you about this earlier? It didn't work. But now it works because now we are on, in the bu on the bus and uh, we can actually now choose a route. So we press that paper. Uh, it looks like a paper. Yeah. We choose the lane. It's 76 for um, OMSI. <coughs> Sorry. And uh, you pre uh, tour is one. Okay. So it, be careful when you choose the routes because... Um, look at here it says start it's a, from a different station but this is where we are actually so we can change it by look at the time look where uh, at the time when it starts so we are um yeah so 10:37 uh, we have to start it at 10 37 but the, the actual time is 10 past 10 now so what we want to do we will stick to that so we press ok just remember the numbers the numbers 76 tour is 1 okay so we press ok now and that's it now we have to set up the route so the passenger the passengers on um, on the bus stops can see where this bus is going so we go to uh, this is actually German so it's not really translated to English but the third I can say the middle button in here and then we press zero 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 so three zeros 76 so you can see what I mean it goes there and that's the enter button so that's our route and uh, we press uh, the lane I believe that's I believe it's lane but um, yeah, so 105 is the route, uh, is the lane that um, we chose earlier. But if you want to do it in the easy way, so you choose the lane, okay, which is, we said 70, uh, 000, 76, then you can press Alt and then go back here, that's um, 92, it shows there. Lane, you can say uh, we chose one I believe didn't we yeah we chose lane one and uh, you specify which which um, uh, station you're going to simple as that and when you press OK it's going to be the same thing it's gonna set it up for you and that's it and if we actually look here now the screen changed there we go but there is still one thing that we have to do is ch um, choosing the lane, the route, uh, sorry, so it's going to be 0 0.1, oh, something is not correct, but what I can do is, lane is 1, and we are going to this station, we press OK, and uh, yeah, you see, it set it up for us, so if, it, if that doesn't work, uh, you can choose the other one very simple very uh, straightforward so now we can actually go simple as that so I'm just gonna bring back um, the steering and uh, I'm using steering wheel for this video uh, if you have to uh, you can use your own as well and if you don't know actually how to set up your steering wheel I'm planning on making another video and showing you how to set up your steering wheel so that's going to be uploaded very very soon on my channel so subscribe and make sure you know uh, so you won't miss that video so um, what we do now 
we press D, which is drive, uh, parking brake, and we hit the uh, accelerator, and the bus is moving now. Congratulations, your bus is officially moving. <laughs> so that's that. What we want to do is we have to go there. Okay. So let's reset the B so you can have a better look. I'm just gonna stop here. Okay. And uh, one important so parking brake set neutral so that's it one important thing that you should know is uh, if you press shift and y on your keyboard it brings up it brings up this um this information for you this information bar which shows uh what time you should be at the next stop uh, next stop so it's going to be that 10 33 we have to be at the next stop but now the time is 10 14 so we have to wait for like um i don't know 10 to 15 minutes just to to uh, to get onto the road so we're not going to be doing that we press alt so we can skip the time to let's say 36 press ok now the time has been skipped simple as that but unfortunately there is no passenger in this um, station so Sometimes it's full of passengers, sometimes it's not, so <laughs> yeah, it's just how it works. But uh, the time is now 10.36, so we just have to wait for like two minutes and that's it. And if you are very, very impatient, we can still <laughs> skip the time, 38, that's it. Now we can go, so what we want to do, drive. Sorry, uh, parking brake released. So we're just gonna go now. Sorry if you hear the background. You see these, sir? Uh, this shows you where to go, so that's a very, very handy feature in on the side. Sorry for the lag and uh, stuff. I, I believe it's not my. The problem is not with my PC, but it's with the recorder that I'm using. So, blinker is whatever button you've assigned. Left or right, so that's. We have to wait here. We press station brake, open both doors. And the passengers will get on now. Hello. Hello. It's very easy, guys. I mean, the first time it should be um, somehow compli complicated for you guys, but when you get to it, when you get used to it, it's very very easy. Just a matter of time uh, until um, you get used to the whole thing. Very very easy. I mean, it took me like an hour to figure out what to do uh, after watching a few tutorials. So. Hopefully this tutorial will be helpful for you guys and um, clarify some stuff for you. And um, yeah, so we're just gonna go. This trip won't be very very long because the map itself is not very long. Um, so there are passengers that are waiting for us. Station brake, open both doors. If you want to uh, change the view, it's with the arrow keys Hello. on the keyboard. So left, uh, we'll go left and right is right. Close the door again, station brake, reset the view. And, uh, uh, now we have to go left, as you can see in here tells us to go left a very important thing you should uh, keep in mind when the weather is very cold 
uh, you actually have to um, turn on the heating so because if you don't do that they will complain about it and uh, they will um, get off the bus in the next stop so make sure you do that but since the weather is not very cold I'm just gonna keep it and not turn on the um, air conditioning or anything so again station brake open both doors Sorry about that. Hello. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Um, assigning t uh, the buttons to uh, to change it to the, the button that you want is very very easy actually. Um, hopefully in the next video I'll show you how to do that. If you have a steering wheel, uh, or if you, have, if you still want to play with the keyboard and mouse, I'll show you both uh, methods. Um, and uh, do you see that uh, yellow light? It shows that the passenger wants to get off the bus in the next stop. Uh, that's something, you know, normal. And that's it. Station brake, open both doors. You can look at the mirror and see the passengers or this mirror. The station is over there, it's not very, very far from here. So now we have to do the bus stop. That's it. So now, oops. Oh, there is one passenger on the bus that needs to get off in the uh, station. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. So that's the station. station and um, as soon as we um, we open the door it will tell us th the details about the trip that's it so it shows us that uh, it was too early when we left so because there were no passengers obviously so <laughs> we left earlier and uh, for the other trips it was alright so it tells you all the times and everything else so that's pretty much it guys and uh, you can if you want to go back to the other station you pretty much need to uh, change the lane and everything you choose uh, the route again uh, you can actually cancel the timetable but if you want to go back you don't have to to the if you want to go back to the same session you don't have to change it you just have to um, change the lane uh, lane is one so don't change that but you can change um, the station to this one which I can't really read it because it's in German <laughs> but yes you can change it to that and if you press OK um, it will change it as you can see so it's very very easy guys hopefully um, this will clarify some stuff for you guys and um, hope you guys liked it and um, please leave a like and comment and subscribe it really helps me out and um, if you have any other questions guys feel free to ask me and I'll definitely make sure to answer you guys um, as soon as I can. So take care guys and uh, I'll see you in the next one.